All right, here we are. Just gonna set up a guardian here. It's typically how I'll go about this hole. I like to bring this one in with backspin. Anytime that you can land on the green, it's much more consistent than landing on the fairway. So you, oh, you had to give us that wind. Uh, so there's only one real possibility for the Guardian shot, and that's going to be with wind five balls. Preferably the Zenith. So the one that just came out for this tournament, that's going to be the ball that you want for the Guardian shot. I'm going to check this account, see if I have one of those Santa balls. If I do, I'll just go ahead and use it. Um, alternatively, we're going to come at this next time with a backbone, and we'll do a uh, Kingmaker backbone combination. It's the only other way to play this one. And I don't like to play this shot, but I, you know, I will play it. So I still do prefer the Guardian shot. It's better than Sniper, just because of the fact that you can, uh, you know, land on a more reliable surface. So let me just take a look here. It looks like I do have a Santa. And the only thing I'll try to do is kind of bend it around the pin. So what I'll typically do here is play pretty close to max. You can see with what I'm doing with my alignment, I have it kind of just on the left edge of the hole a little bit. Other than that, I play pretty close to max, typically, with this Guardian shot. So I do expect, you know, it to be six-some rings here. So kind of one per ring. Other than that, I just focus on ball guide offset. So you can just see, you know, uh, what I try to do is try to get it kind of right behind there. It looks like I just didn't quite have that effect right but you can just see what's basically what I'm trying to do which is landed either just behind the hole or pin high and just kind of side door in with that little bit of cut spin so it will just take some perfecting make sure that you're very perfect with the way that you're make sure you're very consistent with the way that you put the ball inside the shot circle so up oh, I was going to try to show you the shot circle but make sure that you're pulling into the same thing one thing that you might want to do is you want, might want to set up a horizontal line for this hole because power is going to be of the utmost. Not only do you have to get the perfect wind adjustment in terms of how many winds per ring that you want to go, but you'll need to be very exacting. So if you set up this horizontal line and just pull to this line every single time, you'll be very consistent with your distance control. That's the secret to being able to get that time and time again. I can do it with the shot circle as well, um, but I just want to let you know if you wanted to set up a horizontal grid like that to make sure that you're pulling to the exact same point every time, that's a very good opportunity to do so because anytime that you're talking about a straight tailwind situation and especially when you're trying to get to inches, you're trying to get it to, to land very consistent to a matter of inches time and time again, that's what you'll want is you'll want a very consistent pull pool position there. So make sure that you're focused on that. Good luck with that hole and I'll see you guys on the next one.